Thank you for choosing to be with us at the Making an Impact Breakout. Just to make sure that you're in the right place, this is the public image session. And we're coming to you from Lutruwita, Tasmania. In the Rotary world, we are District 9830, and I'm District Governor Heather Chong. Before we begin on behalf of the Rotarians from around the zone, I'd like to pay respect to the original custodians of the land on which we meet, the Palawa Pakana community. We thank their elders, past, present and emerging, for their care of the soil, the sea, the waterways and all the living things that sustain and delight us. The conference theme is Learning, Leading, Action. And with me are two Rotary leaders who will give you a case study of our Rotary values, plans and policies and help to tell the people about the goals and achievements of one Rotary programme that is managed here but serves the whole world. May I introduce past District Governor Una Hobday, who is Chair of Food Plant Solutions, a Rotary Action Group, and past President Roslyn Tierney, who is Assistant Regional Public Image Coordinator. I've had the pleasure of working with Una at some of the gardening workshops for our migrant community members, and I know how special they are for the participants. There are some wonderful outcomes. Una is the public face and chair of Food Plant Solutions Rotary Action Group, which creates science-based resources to explain nutrition and why the human body needs it. She leads a small team working towards the end of malnutrition and enabling food security for all peoples of the world. Food Plant Solutions programs operate overseas with trusted partners and locally the group runs a program called Fresh Food for Families, which offers an opportunity for migrants and community members to understand the link between food sources and nutrition. So Rotarians, Rotaractors and whoever else may be interested, here is past District Governor Una to tell us about Food Plant Solutions, a Rotary Action Group. Thank you DG Heather. I've been in this role as Chair of Food Plant Solutions Rotary Action Group for six years and I'm proud of our successes. Food Plant Solutions Rotary Action Group was born in Tasmania and is now very much part of the international community with programs in over 30 countries. Malnutrition is an insidious condition affecting millions of people globally. Consumption of food can only overcome malnutrition if the nutrients that are lacking are actually in the food consumed. While this statement appears pretty obvious, it's amazing how often it can be overlooked. Feeling full does not necessarily mean you are nutritionally satisfied. Satisfying hunger with foods that are lacking in appropriate nutrients can actually exacerbate malnutrition. FPS focuses on promoting food that will address malnutrition and hunger as a sustainable self-help solution. Our results show that our programs can be a solution to malnutrition and ensure a world where food security is available to all. FPS continues to make a positive impact, but we need your help. Please consider donating to Food Plant Solutions Rotary Action Group and or extending our message to potential sponsors. Hello everyone, thanks for joining. How do you, as a public image volunteer or project manager, help tell your story with impact? How do you inspire those who receive your message to act with a degree of urgency? Let's take a moment to think about making an impact. Start with why. Why should we comply with rotary branding and marketing guidelines? We have lives to save, so we must ensure that our stories and our photos have all the basic information and enough personality, emotion and urgency to draw people in and stimulate action, referrals and donation. The Food Plant Solutions story gives people hope that they can be part of something significant and meaningful and that they can take a simple step to solve a huge problem. Please take some time to read Rotary's voice and visual guidelines. They tell us how Rotary wants to be represented. Let me say up front, I'll give you three tips in this breakout for your own marketing as we look at the great communication story of Food Plant Solutions over the past year. Leverage from the Rotary brand and Rotary support structure. Pitch stories. Appreciate your Rotary colleagues. 
Our Rotary brand reflects our identity, our vision and our values. It represents our unique culture and our approach to creating lasting positive change. Food Plant Solutions updated its logo a year ago. Once the logo was approved by Rotary International, the banners and the letterhead were also refreshed. That was invigorating. Food Plant Solutions has an excellent Facebook page and a brilliant website. They send out regular newsletters by direct email campaigns, highlighting testimonials from overseas partners. These channels of communication have helped to build awareness and respect within our district and with our trusted global partners. But from a marketing perspective, Food Plant Solutions needed a communication breakthrough in order to generate enough donations to meet the constant requests. Rotary's District International Service Committee system allows a stronger team for every Rotary Action Group. Each Rotary Action Group is a team within the wider network of international causes and we all connect and support each other. The best thing that has happened for all of our Rotary Action Groups is DISC with Rose as Chair. To work with a group of like-minded people improves the area of service, working together to achieve an outcome. Don't be afraid to go into bat for your project. Target your message to include the triggers we know our audience will respond to. Spell out the problem that needs to be solved. Explain the action taken by Rotarians. Quantify the outcome and clearly call people to action. After an event, celebrate the outcomes. Welcome to Campbell Street Primary School and we're having a wonderful day today being involved with the Rotary Club of North Hobart who have volunteered to work with families of our school to teach them about growing and what's appropriate to grow in Tasmania for fresh food for their families. It's a wonderful project that we've been involved in with the Rotary Club and we have about 40 people coming, children and their parents, coming to be involved in this activity today. Today's project brings together a school, a community cultural group, a rotary club and many generous business owners. Using the marketing tips from Rotary, will give project managers confidence and mean that your stories, photos and articles will capture people's attention, build awareness and understanding and give Rotary the credit we deserve for the good we do. Food Plant Solutions has been promoted in newspapers, on radio and even on television this past year. You're with Mel Bush, ABC Radio Hobart and ABC Northern Tasmania. Did you know 1,900 species of edible plants are known to grow in Tasmania? Food Plant Solutions, based in Devonport, has produced a USB that details almost 1,400 of those species, where they grow, how they grow, what parts are edible, as well as the nutritional information to go along with it. Una, great to speak with you. Thank you. No worries. I just think it's really important in this time, you know, with, with COVID... It's just an opportunity to develop a garden, even if you only do it in pots. You can feed your family, great food, have your children being involved in production of the food they eat, and what a delight, you save money as well. That's Una Hobday, OAM, who's Chair of Food Plant Solutions. Foodplantsolutions.org, if you're keen to have a look at some of the things they've been getting up to in our community. Repetition of the Rotary name will get you known and consistent positive experiences at Rotary events will get you trusted. But to break out to a wider audience and gain more sponsors and volunteers, 
you'll need to take a risk. The big theme for Food Plan Solutions this past year was consciously working to get the message out nationally. We boldly pitched Food Plan Solutions to four national media producers, and we were successful three out of four times. Thanks to ABC Landline, ABC Nightlife, and Rotary Down Under. The purpose of a pitch is to get the editor's attention as quickly as you can. Let them know why your story is newsworthy or what the human interest angle is. If possible, attach compliant, informative, high resolution photos and give contact details. Journalists have a high pressure job, so your aim is to make the task of choosing your rotary story easier. Make the subject of your email clear. Story lead, request for a photographer, media alert. Know the style, the word limit, the deadline and the publication cycle. Be organised and don't waste people's time. If you send out a media alert at 8am, stay by the phone until 10am. And then if you don't get a reply, ring to check with the Chief of Staff. A good low cost way to get your Rotary project in the public eye is to practice appreciation marketing. For example, in National Volunteering Week, Food Plant Solutions got two different kinds of exposure to large non-Rotary audiences. Past District Governor Una was a finalist for the Science, Education and Technology category of the State Volunteering Awards. Award systems need applicants, so make sure your Rotary volunteers are in with a chance. Win-win. Also, Food Plant Solutions received acknowledgement from a local government, simply for being volunteers and explaining how they contributed to the community. You might try the Citizenship Awards or Seniors Week to recognise and publicise your Rotary project leaders. To finish, I want to share two club events at which past District Governor Una was guest speaker. One was a fundraising dinner hosted by the International Committee of a Club. Thank you to the Rotary Club of Sandy Bay for the resulting $3,000 donation and look at the fun we had. One was a peace poll installation where past District Governor Una spoke to some primary school children about how their school garden builds peace. When you work with a school, there are extra privacy and personal protection policies to be complied with. All these photos have been approved by the school principal and the children's parents. I have presented food plant solutions to 40 Rotary groups and districts around the world since August the 1st last year because of COVID-19. It's actually one benefit for being in lockdown. Ros, with her skills in marketing and branding, has certainly helped more people to learn about the problem of malnutrition and to call them to immediate action, to be part of a solution, to be volunteering their skills to their causes. Rotary has many smart, passionate, dedicated members who are willing to share their expertise to support your project. Our brand rules are explained clearly in brief. Don't ignore this document. Go to the Learning Centre and check out the short course for your Rotary role. You'll probably find that you're doing all the right things, but it saves wasting time and money to check the guidelines first. Consider taking the public image course because public image is everyone's job. I hope you have gained some insight today into how Food Plant Solutions continues to make an impact. Rotary is founded on people, relationships and actions. We bring our personal passions, our professional backgrounds, our diverse perspectives and our global connections to change the world for better with our Rotary service. Thanks for logging on today and we hope you've drawn something from this story to apply to your own Rotary clubs and projects.